Yo guys, this is your artist Tallguard and today I will show you how to draw Broly from Dragon Ball Z as Super Saiyan 4. As you can see I got the pencil and paper ready. We will use an A4 size paper and portray mode and of course you can find the exact same materials I am using in the info box below. I will also answer some of your questions from Instagram during the video, so let's go. Before we start, we will add the very important guidelines. First we gotta have the paper in portray mode and then we will add a 3cm guideline for the face. Pay attention that you don't draw this guideline too high, otherwise you won't be able to draw the hair fully. And now we can start, as always with the eye part. For the length of the eyebrows, I like to orientate myself on a guideline, same as for the eyes. We will place the eyes exactly above the guideline, so both eyes are on the same level. Some wrinkles above the eyebrows and then we can draw the nose and the mouth. Therefore we will work with the vertical line. So the nose and the mouth are perfectly centered and we will give Broly a nice smirk. Then we will draw the edgy face shape and therefore we will also use the guidelines for the width of the face. Great, now we will draw the shape of the hairline and the ears. Just the shape, we will complete them after drawing the hair. And Broly has some earrings, good for him. Now we can start with the hair. Broly has one long hair strand on each side in front of the face. I like to draw the shape of the hair first, before I draw it more detailed. This will make it way easier for us to draw. And then we can draw the details to the ears. And now continuing with the hair. In the Super Saiyan 4 state, Broly has very big hair, but the shape of the hair is very similar to the legendary Super Saiyan form. Usually I draw the rough shape of the entire hair first, but this time I felt like drawing details right away. And while we are drawing the hair, we can answer the first question of the day. Any tips on getting better and how much time do you draw a day? I always see this question, how to get better. How do you think Cristiano Ronaldo became good in football? Same with Michael Jordan in basketball or Will Smith in acting. Of course, all of them have talent, but they worked on their skills every day for hours, months and years. That's the only way to get better. As for me, I draw a couple hours a day and I'm also doing this for years, so it's no coincidence. You just have to practice.
That looks amazing. Now we can get to the body. Here we will draw the rough shape of the entire body first to have an easier time to draw it detail later on. As we all know, Broly is very big and has huge muscles and arms. In the Super Saiyan 4 state, most of the upper body is covered in fur, except of the hands, chest and abs. I really love the design of this form, and while we're drawing the shape, we can get to another question. My favorite drawings I have done so far. This question I also see very often, and I can't really choose, there are so many. I love how the last two Vegeta custom drawings turn out. Also the final result of this Broly right here turned out great and I can go on and on guys. I really like the recent drawings I have done and I really enjoy that I keep getting better and better. Alright, the shape is done and now we can draw more details. As you may notice, it's really important for me to draw everything very symmetrical and therefore I like to use a ruler. For example on the arms and shoulders so each body part are on the same level. Now I'm drawing the necklace of Broly with the round crystal in the middle. And now we can draw the chest and abs more detailed. And now we can draw the shoulders and arms more detailed. As I said, Broly is huge, so therefore we will draw the shoulders and arms very big. They are also covered in fur, but you will add the details to that on the in -king. Right now, we are just focusing on the shape and symmetry of the muscles and therefore we are using a ruler as I said. And meanwhile, we can answer another question. Do you get tired after drawing for hours? Yes, of course, especially when I work on A2 size commissions with multiple characters. But I usually never draw more than 2 hours straight. After that I take a break and do something different. And after a while I start another 2 hour drawing session. With that routine I can work very well.
probably has some big bracelets on his forearms, also with the round crystal on top. And he also has a belt with a big crystal in the center and a sash wrapped around his waist. And before we are finishing the sash, we will draw the fists. And on the back of the hand, Broly will also have some fur, but only on the upper part. Perfect. Now we can complete the sash, which is very wrinkled. And we can also answer another question. What are the best markers for you if you only can choose one? Very good question and right now, I will probably go with Uhu brush markers. I just love them. The color selection is huge, the colors are powerful, the brush tip is amazing, they also look great and are pretty affordable. Which are your favorite markers guys? Let me know below. Now we are drawing the tail behind Broly and then we are done with the sketch. I think Broly looks amazing. And now we can get to the inking. For the inking, we are using high quality pants with different sizes. The thicker one for bigger areas and the thinner pants for the details like the face features. As for the inking itself, it's pretty simple. We are redrawing the whole sketch with the pen very patiently and slowly, line by line, until we are done. Move the paper if you need to, so your hand is always in a relaxed state. On 
on the second layer of the inking, I like to give the lines some thickness and add more details to the line art. This makes the line art pop out and right here I'm also giving the fur the hairy effect. And for this, we are using the thinner pen. That looks amazing. Now to the black hair. First we gotta mark the areas for the lighter parts of the hair which are pretty detailed and the rest we will color black. This way the hair will pop out so much and we will do this for the entire hair. And now to the next question. Your favorite Dragon Ball characters. Well from Dragon Ball Classic I really love Goku, Tao Bai Bai, Krillin, Master Roshi, Tien and King Piccolo. From Dragon Ball Z I love Goku, Vegeta, Frieza, Janemba, Kula, and Broly. And from Dragon Ball Zupa, I like Goku, Vegeta, Goku Black, and Jiren. So, hair done and it looks crazy good. Now to the coloring, starting with the skin. I am using different marker brands, so you don't have to use the exact same color tones as I do. We are using a bright skin color tone for the base. And the darker shades we are adding along with the wrinkles and more on the center of the face. The shading has to be way darker than the base skin color. This way the skin pops out so much. And then we are using a very dark brown tone to add some more definition to the skin. We are using this color tone along with the wrinkles and face features. Not much, but they still make a huge difference. And then I like to give the shading a second layer to increase the contrast. And then I like to use a black color pencil to add even more details to it. We will use this all over Broly because with that black pencil we will give the dark shades and wrinkles so much more deepness and details. Now same process for the chest and abs. We are adding the big shades on the center of the chest with the same order of color tones and I think we can answer another question. 
Can you show us how you draw the lighting around your characters so the aura I guess. I did lots of tutorials which were drawn aura as well. But I will also give Broly right here an aura in the end, so we will come to that soon. Meanwhile the whole skin is colored and it pops out so much, I love it. Next we will color the big red fur. For the base I'm using a very vibrant red color tone and for the shades I'm using a dark wine red tone. The shades you will also add more on the inner part of the muscles and also on the muscle definition. And as you can see I'm also doing the shading in the hairy form to increase the effect of the fur. And then we are using a black color pencil again to add more details and dark shades to it. And this is how we will color the entire fur guys. It looks amazing already. And the next question is, tell me how commissions work. Well, it's pretty simple. If you're interested in a custom drawing, you have to message me on Instagram so we can talk about your ideas. Then we will find a good price and as soon as I've received the payment, I will add your name to my commission list. My list is pretty long these days, so the waiting time is around 8 to 10 weeks. You will also see the progress of your drawing, from the sketch to the coloring, and once it's done, it will be sent out to your location safely. And if you have any more questions, just message me on Instagram guys. Alright, now we will color the other arm the exact same way. As you can see, I'm using many many layers, so the whole area is covered evenly. I love coloring like that, as it looks kinda like digital art. So the next question is, what's my favorite anime? I also get this question a lot, and I have to admit, I haven't seen that many anime. Which I love are, of course, Dragon Ball Classic and Dragon Ball Z. Attack on Titan is the best, One Punch Man is amazing, and I really tried to watch Naruto. But I don't know how to say this, it's boring guys. I can't get further season 1, I'm sorry. 
I will definitely watch One Piece from beginning to end one day. So guys, fur done and it looks absolutely amazing. It stands out so much and right now we will color the eyes, the earrings and then the hair. For the hair we will use a nice grey tone and we will cover the brighter parts of the hair very evenly. Great. For the necklace, we will use a few different yellow and darker yellow tones to give the necklace a shiny effect. Same as for the blue crystal. Perfect. Now we will do the same thing for the belt and the bracelets and while coloring them, we can get to the next question. What's better, Ohuhu or Copic? Well, as I said earlier, Ohuhu brush markers are my favorite these days. I love everything about them, but so I do with Copics. You get an even bigger color selection with Copics and you can also refill them. Of course they are pricey, but I'm using them for so long now, I think that's why I prefer the Ohuhu markers lately. Just because they are pretty new for me. Still, both are amazing. Alright guys, the sash is left and it's also red. To separate the sash from the fur, we will use different red tones for the sash. I'm using a medium red tone for the base and a very strong red tone for the shades. We are adding the shading along with the wrinkles and to add even more definition to the shading, I'm using an even darker red tone. And to finish it up, I'm using a black color pencil again, mainly to increase the deepness of the wrinkles. And if you are not sure about where to place the shades, always go with the wrinkles, muscle definition, hairlines and face features. These are the areas where the shades naturally occurs.
All right, one side done, and I really love the definition of the sash. The red is also very different from the fur, which is great. Same process for the other side, and we can answer another question. How to draw from head? It's not easy to answer that. I think it's easier to draw from memory if you drew a specific thing many times before. You are just used to it. I draw from head very often, and I remember, even as a kid, I always drew from head. I was always very creative, so I think you just have to use your imagination and just try to bring your thoughts on paper. Alright, Rowley is done and he looks real badass. Man, he looks really cool. And to finish it up, we will surround him with a yellow Super Saint 4 aura. As you can see, I'm using the marker like a brush and working with many strokes. I'm getting very close to Broly, but still leaving a white part around him, which resembles a very bright layer of the aura. And on the other parts, I'm adding a darker layer to the aura. That's it. Very simple. And now I will add some lightning around Broly with a blue gale pen. This is optional, so if you don't want to do this, you don't have to. And if you do this, pay attention that you don't smear the gale. Just wait a few seconds until it's dry. Last touch and then Broly Super Saiyan 4 is done. Alright guys, everything is set and the final result is amazing in my opinion. I hope this tutorial was easy for you to follow and I hope you learned something today. Make sure to like the video to show me your support and leave a comment below. Subscribe if you are new and I will also upload this one on my real time drawing channel so check me out there as well. And prints of this drawing will be available on Etsy. And right here, you can see some of my other drawing tutorials. And I see you on the next 